Today I'm going to show you how to fix your slice. As a player with a one-handed backhand, I've had to resort to slice many times when my one-hander was unreliable, not as much anymore, but I was actually doing slice incorrectly for almost my whole life. It wasn't until a recent tennis mentor of mine showed me one thing that was actually the missing key. We will touch on that in this video, but first, let's start with getting set up right in the first place. So, right here, we're in a good ready position, and for the slice, you need to turn with the elbow up. It's like the one-handed backhand, except we're gonna lay the racket face open intentionally. If you don't get this angle, it's gonna be very difficult for you to cut under the ball during the swing, so you don't wanna start like this and then try and turn over the wrist. The slice does not involve a lot of wrist action at all. What's happening is we are using our arm as a lever and swinging basically from the shoulder. We wanna lock the elbow and the wrist throughout this stroke, but still holding the racket nice and loose. You should also note that I'm spreading out my index finger and for the grip, it's almost a serve grip. So from continental, I'm sliding it one bevel over to the west. So here, I've laid the racket open, my wrist is fixed in an upright position, and we stay sideways throughout the follow through. Now, this is the main thing that is causing you to miss your slice. You are cutting through the ball, and you are not stopping your follow through. Watch me here. If you just go like this, boom, and feel like you stop immediately as you hit, almost like a jab or like hitting a volley, your slice will be low and driven and it will be this neutralizing shot that you're looking for. It will be quick and effective. If you go like this and you open up and you keep dragging the racket and following through, your slice is gonna go long every time or it's gonna go in the net. You will have almost no chance of making it. So what you need to do is set up at the height of the ball and stop your follow through. Now it may look like, you know, some of the pros are swinging all the way through or cutting downwards like this. And it maybe just appears that way because their body momentum, maybe it has them opening up after, but you don't wanna do that, okay? Especially for you, you gotta, boom. At the height of the ball, do not keep going with the racket, okay? You need to stay very controlled with this shot. Make sure the racket doesn't lose this position. If you have a flimsy wrist, you're gonna end up, boom. It's not gonna go where you want. You wanna be able to aim your slice. And also, it can be used as a defensive shot, but also an offensive shot. For example, you can approach with a slice. It's a good way to return serve. And I highly recommend learning this skill and adding it to your arsenal. So make sure you follow the tips that I showed you in this video. And yeah, please subscribe for more educational tennis videos. Thanks. Most tennis coaches want to sell you a bunch of private lessons. Their instructions are vague, their technique is wrong, and often they want you to hit as many balls as possible while paying them. I offer a tennis fundamentals course that will teach you how to essentially bulletproof your game. You can find it in the link below and check that out if you're interested. I also do professional shot analysis and you can reach me at this email if you would like a 24 hour turnaround with an on-court video response where I will diagnose what you're doing wrong. I will demonstrate your mistakes. I will correct them for you. And we will also follow up with a video call. Ciao.